Inside my encrypt method on line 13, I'm starting a KMS client session. Then on line 14, I'm calling the client.encrypt method and passing my key alias and input data. Consider this. You have an AWS KMS key and you want to use it to encrypt and decrypt data using a Lambda function. Can you do this by writing a few lines of code? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, click create function and give it a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create, then navigate to the configuration tab. Click on permissions in the left menu to access your execution role name. Next, let's head to the KMS service then click on create key. Let's leave the key type to symmetric and key usage to encrypt and decrypt, then hit next. Enter an alias for your key and a description if you like, then click on next. I'm going to make myself a key admin, allow key deletion option, then click on next. For key usage permissions, I'm going to give access to my Lambda's execution role then click on next. Review your key policy, hit finish, then navigate to the aliases tab. Next, let's head back to the Lambda window and navigate to the code tab. Here, I'm going to copy paste pre-written Python code. The code starts by importing the Boto3 and Base64 libraries. On line five, inside my Lambda handler, I'm grabbing the input underscore data from my event and storing it in the input data variable. On line six, I'm starting a Boto3 session. And on line seven, I have if else logic where I call the encrypt method if the encrypt or decrypt key is set to encrypt, else I call the decrypt method. I'm also passing my KMS key alias when I call the encrypt method. Let's replace it with the actual value. Inside my encrypt method on line 13, I'm starting a KMS client session. Then on line 14, I'm calling the client.encrypt method and passing my key alias and input data. Finally, on line 15, I'm returning my base64 encoded ciphertext blob. Let's look at our decrypt method next. On line 18, I'm starting a client KMS session. And on line 19, I'm calling the client.decrypt method and passing in my ciphertext blob. Finally, on line 20, I'm returning the plain text. Hit deploy, then click on test to configure your test event. Give your test event a name then scroll down to the event JSON section. Here, I'm going to specify my input data and whether I want to encrypt or decrypt. Hit save, then click on the test button to execute your Lambda function. Looks like our Lambda function worked as expected because I see the encrypted ciphertext in the response output. I'm going to copy this encrypted ciphertext then configure my test event again. This time, I'm going to replace my input data with the encrypted ciphertext, then replace encrypt or decrypt value with decrypt, then hit save. Click on test to re-execute your Lambda function and confirm that you see your original input data text in the response output. Now watch what happens if I disable my KMS key and re-execute this Lambda function. As expected, this time I get an error message saying the decrypt operation failed because the key is disabled. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the AWS KMS key always bring a flashlight to meetings?